Hello, 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 everybody. Hope you're having a fine day. And hopefully to make your evening a little bit better. Let's play some more Monkey Island. So, I know I said yesterday I was probably going to play PS2 games, but you know what? I decided we're so close to get catching up fully with this. I haven't finished watching a VOD. I didn't get the notification we went live yesterday. Oh, no. I did think you were weirdly absent, Appaloom. I was thinking, God, where are you? To be fair, I didn't actually struggle that much with yesterday. I, I think I pretty much breezed through most of the puzzles. But this one, I seem to recall when I played this last time. I've only played this one once. I seem to recall I struggled quite a bit. So, uh, here we go. Also, let me know if the stream, you know, starts buffering a lot. Got a lot of messages about drop frames due to network. Seems to be okay at the moment. The but just, just in case. Morgan Lefley are blown off course when they are swallowed by a lovelorn leviathan. Much to Morgan and Guybrush's surprise, an uneasy alliance to escape the beast blossoms into a genuine friendship between yeah. the pirate and pirate hunter. A tidal shift that leads Treepwood to the elusive pops curing a sponge of grande. Yep, we got the sponge. But Guybrush learns too late that it is the wise pirate who prepares for the inevitable change in the winds as Morgan betrays him and returns him to the scientific clutches of the Marquis de Sange. Yep. All right. That off ship? That doesn't look like the screw normal. I suppose it probably is. It looks a bit lot more beat up before <laughs> when we were when we got here. Oh man. Oh, that death glare. That death glare. Oof. Oof. I mean, she deserves it. After everything we went through. 28, 29, 30,000 pieces of silver, mon petit chouchou. Just as we agreed. It had better be, or I'll cut the difference out of your fluffy wig. I got an idea. Why don't you let me go and I'll pay you double what the Marquis is paying. Don't embarrass yourself, Springwood. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I'll pay triple. Oh yeah? I'll pay triple. <laughs> Quadruple? Quadruple? <laughs> Let's just keep going up. Quintuple? <laughs> God, that laugh is so annoying, but... Sextuple? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sweepwood, you grossly underestimate the value of that which gushes through your body. Uh -huh. oh, I've got a pretty good idea. Why my spit alone once won me 8,000 pieces <laughs> of eight on Booty Island. So it did. Then you should die knowing that you gave a priceless gift to science. <sighs> Finally. Ooh, there's the, the serious cold shoulder. I've got the formula. And soon I'll have nothing left than life eternal! Oh, I'm as happy as a penguin sliding on its belly! Nope. Oh. Who's she? What is this? Ah, it's a welcome back party! Hope they brought ice cream cake. Uh, that's a lot of pitchforks. Sweetwood, we've been waiting a long time for this. Hey, why can't I stop my legs? What? No! No, come back! This cracker croaker's got a date in the court of pirate law! Ah. Yeah, it's too tinker and talleyrand! What? And then the scurvy dog will hang. I remember the rest of you. I don't remember her. You after him. Hey, 
I brought you Threepwood, and you paid me. We're done here. We'll just see about that. Oh boy. Who's in the bar? Oh, that explains it. I couldn't see. <laughs> I was blindfolded when we went in the bar. Not sure why the background audio is still playing over the top of this. Oh well. Means I don't get copyright struck, so I don't mind. Captain Threepwood! Hey, Having Captain. Been found guilty of our charges, you will be taken to the nearest ship and keel hard until your ravaged skin hangs in tatters from your bleeding. Guilty? But I haven't been charged with anything yet. You haven't? Where's that incompetent prosecutor? Right here, Your Honor. <laughs> oh, great. Yay! <laughs> Sorry, I'm late, Your Eminence, but the man had to inflagrante his delicto. And there was a line in the washroom. Belay your excuses, you sniveling sea Stan. and get on with the charges. I've got grog waiting for me at Club 41. Of course, Your Immensity. Your Honor, pirates and wenches of the gallery. Hey, that's us. This evening I will prove beyond a scintilla of a shadow of a doubt that Guy Brush Threepwood is guilty of no fewer than four heinous crimes. Four? I thought there'd be three. Firstly, that he did knowingly engage in a bar fight that horribly injured the beloved feline of local pirate elder, Hemlock McGee. Hey, it's too good for him. Secondly, during this self-same fight, Captain Threepwood spilled boiling nacho sauce on the exposed leg of Bolson Catherine Krebs, hideously scarring one of Flotsam's shapeliest gams. Get him alive! Thirdly, that he did conspire with one Joaquin de Oro to craft and sell counter Hey, I didn't sell. Pirates. It's all about spreading the box. And finally, that he folded, spindled, and mutilated this previously pristine ex belonging to Flotsam's newest arrival, Killick Hardtack. What the heck? Um, yeah, he did that to me. I did not. I don't even know what... Having heard the grave charges arrayed against you, how do you plead? Uh, not guilty? <laughs> no. No, do not plead guilty. By reason of insanity. Yeah, by reason of insanity. I plead not guilty by reason of insanity. You that works. pretty sane to me. Sure, now, but any second I could start using monkeys as needle nose pliers or shooting myself out of trebuchets or doing strange things with rubber trees. I'm crazy, I tells you. I mean, yeah. Easy. The defendant will cease his inane histrionics, or the court will be forced to to yank out his tongue with a rusty shrimp fork. A oh, fork. I was gonna say, what's a rusty he shrimp? No insanity defense. <laughs> These charges are stupid, and believe me, I know from stupid. Captain Threepwood, you're out of order. I'm out of order. You're out of order. The whole the, the dude's already had a rage. But I don't think this is. Yeah. Shut his festering gob before the court shuts it for him. Do it. Sorry. I I don't think this uh, judge is impartial in this matter. I plead one thousand percent. I would like to guilty. ask for Especially a new judge. Last one about the X. Very well. Let it be recorded that the miserably guilty defendant has entered a plea of not guilty. Now, who would you like to represent your pathetic case? Um, hey Stan. Hey Stan, why don't you represent me, for old times' sake? You mean those old times when you swindled me out of a ship, stuck me in a coffin for three months, scammed my insurance company, and got me involved with high-risk doubloon derivatives? Uh, yes? Sorry kid, nothing personal, but I stand to make a bundle in legal fees off these honked I mean, hey, really you scammed us like out of a ship, we, we bought that ship. I oh, know we didn't we use credit, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, we 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 faked our way to credit, right? Yeah, and yeah, we did lock him into a coffin so we could steal stuff from him. Technically, we did die though for the sake of the life insurance. Okay. Don't you have some sort of public defender? Okay, yeah. Uh, sorry, Stan. In pirate court. <laughs> Sounds more like a kangaroo court to me. So that'd be a no then. All right, I guess I represent myself. I guess I'll represent myself. Captain Threepwood, are you aware of the old pirate court saying? 
the pirate who represents himself in court has a soon-to-be keel-hauled fool for a client. <laughs> yes, Your Honor, and I am that fool. Fine! Your move, Counselor! Here's your briefs, kid. There's constant abuse. Make a charge that defendant ruined his perfectly good ex. The suspect looks plausible. Walt hopes he's not just making things up. TP... What? <laughs> Record a sentence, TP fine, and death by hanging. High crimes and misdemeanors. Discontinuation of Club 41's natural source makes proof of guilt difficult. The court deems it is unlikely that some other mix of fluids could have caused Krebs' distinctive burn. 23 grand fine, death by corset. Okay. H. McKee. Felonious feline frightening. Plaintiff's pussycat seems traumatized, but court has seen far too many crippled pirates miraculously healed by the tonic of a cash settlement. That kitty moves an inch, this case is over. One ball of yarn, death by mauling. Counterfeit collectibles, witness testifying in turn for a lighter sentence. Court doesn't trust stool parrots, for their testimony is only as firm as their last bribe. Yeah, I mean... Uh, confiscation of sextants. Death by eight-sided dice. Defendant arrested in possession of tiny sea sponge, which he insists will cure the pox. Court is skeptical, but has confiscated artifact as a matter of policy. Defendant is also in possession of unremarkable wedding ring that will likely be used to defray his funeral costs. Fun. All right. Um, what are we doing then? My wedding ring. Okay, the cat. That paralyzed cat is creepy. It's moving his eyes. It's it's still alive. That empty nacho plate is making me hungry. I, I don't get the X thing. Why is it always an X? Why not T marks the spot? All right, let's talk to you then. Hey, hard tech. Defense will refrain from addressing the bailiff in open court. Sorry. Sorry. Uh. uh. Could you read that last bit back for me? Very interesting. I don't even remember saying exsanguinate. Sanguinate? No, no, I'm not questioning your professionalism. It's just that I don't even know the meaning of... Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. God damn it. All right, um, I suppose to the judge, I don't have anything to say. Let's call a recess to confirm my client. Um, object! I object! To what? To this trial. To your hat. To the way my beard's itching. I also object to the way that guy's looking at me. Objection! And to this hook and Death and reward! You will cease your foolish distractions before we come down and cease them for you! Objection withdrawn. Okay, that makes him angry. So I guess I could do something during that time. But I... What do I actually have on me? The file and my hook. Right, yeah. Right! Where were we? Full witness. Um That's cool. Yeah, hardtack. What is if the deal with this? The court, I'd like to call Bailiff Hardtack to the stand. Bailiff Hardtack! Oh, that's me. Do you swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog swilling backstabbing pirate? I suppose. Bailiff Hardtack, could you tell the court about your claim against Guybrush Threepwood? Please well, do. Uh, back on Spinner K, <coughs> I was getting ready to bury me modest chest of treasures, you see. Oh, my shit, this guy. My spaghetti strainers, my silver paprika shaker. I was wondering who he was. So when all of a sudden, this three-foot bloke runs up to me, waving his arms and telling me to look out for a three-headed monkey that's right behind me. Well, naturally, I turned and looked, but there was nothing there. <coughs> when I regained my composure, three-foot was nowhere to be found. And worst of all... Yes? He dug up my perfectly good ex. It's ruined now. Mm. Oh, come on. He's all yours, buddy. Okay. 
This whole story about your ex is a big fat lie, isn't it? No, sir. Come on, you're lying. Admit it. No, sir. I'm just gonna Come keep on. saying it. Oh, you got me, sir. But why? Well, I didn't have anything else to do after you killed me boss and left me without um, a job. <coughs> oh, yeah. I could have charged you with that instead. Oh. Yeah, don't, don't, let's not focus on that. Better, I move for a mistrial. Granted, we left contact as punishment for wasting this court oh, time. You will be compelled to wear Lizig's wig of foppery until such Big time as I am no longer tempted to gavel you into a fine paste. <laughs> oh, I love it. Ooh, it's delightful. Looks good on you, man. Right, um, I guess I'll start calling other people to the stand. Boson Krebs. I'd like to call Boson Catherine Krebs to the stand. Catherine Krebs! Do you swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog swilling, backstabbing pirate? Aye. Boson Krebs, could you tell the court what happened on that fateful day? I, I was minding my own business at Club 41 with a mug full of grog and some zesty nachos when all of a sudden that blindfolded Jasper barreled into me, knocked me nacho sauce into me lap I was and blindfolded. Gave me this disfiguring scar. Machi, machi. Aye, that takes me back. Why is it in the shape of skull and crossbones? Ooh. Bailiff, supply the prosecutor and the defendant with sketches of the burns for their briefs. Oh yeah, Your Honor. Thank you. Lots of luck, kid. Okay. That was not nachos. That was something else. You're lying about this whole nacho business, aren't you? Nay. Are you lying about being a mighty pirate? I'll ask the questions here. Okay. I don't think that's going to work forever. Just a moment, Your Honor. Okay. I have no more questions for this witness, Your Honor. You may step down, Boson Krebs. Okay. Hmm. Got a sketch. That that's probably gonna help. Let's try Jacquin. Jacques Jacquin? Jack. I'd like to call Joaquin Hosea. Joaquin, that's how you pronounce it. Joaquin. To the stand. Joaquin de Oro. Do you swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog got his eye. stabbing pirate? His eye. Senor de Oro. Uh, he got stabbed his eye. Oro. I didn't Yes, think. of course. Why are you here today? I was recently arrested for trying to sell a counterfeit Dark Ninja Dave porcelain power pirate figurine. A counterfeit figurine. Crafted by Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, Actually, that, that wasn't so surprising. <laughs> you are a witness, counselor. All right, Joaquin. You're lying. Senor Doro, is it not true that you're an inveterate liar? No. So it is true that you're an inveterate liar? Uh, no. Yes. I don't know. What does inveterate mean? Objection. Your Honor, the defense <laughs> is attempting to confuse the witness with big words. Yep. Sustained. The defense will take into account the witness's limited I, mean, I have no idea what the word means. All right, no more questions. I have no more questions for this witness, Your Honor. You may step down, Mr. Doro. That's Captain Doro. Captain? Do you have a ship? Right, who else? Hemlock. Of course, Hemlock. I'd like to call Hemlock McGee to the stand. Hemlock McGee. What's that? Oh. And do you swear on Blackbeard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, Pinky. I knew Blackbeard back when he was bloody black peach bars. Just let me at him. Let me at him. Ensign McGee, it's your contention that Captain Threepwood injured your cat. Injured? He practically crushed him. Hit him right in the puss with a stuffed melody, and he did. What? And how is your cat today? See for yourself. The poor deer is paralyzed with fear. I have to feed her through a tube. Oh, my poor Miss Pretty Whiskers. Oh, my poor little Pretty Whiskers. Pretty Whiskers? Your witness, kid. Don't, don't make fun of the, the, the cat's name, dude. 
We need to do this. Oh, oh. Literally, my only option is just to say, you're lying, aren't you? This whole cat thing is a scam to get back at me for getting you kicked out of Club 41, isn't it? How can you look at my fat little pussycat and call me a liar? <laughs> oh, just look at her. Oh, you didn't mention it when I was last here. I have no more questions for this witness, Your Honor. You may step down, Ensign McGee. <laughs> Alright, so talk to everyone. Except for myself. Let's try that. Your Honor, I'd like to call Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, to the stand. Guybrush Threepwood! I'm right here. Oh, right. Do you swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog swilling of backstabbing course. pirate? Ooh, what's this log made of? Calf leather? You just can't find craftsmanship like this these days. <coughs> oh, I do. Why are we on the night of August? What? <laughs> Captain Threepwood, what? <laughs> where were you on the night of August 15th? I was on a date with your oh, wife. Oh, for God's sake. Why, you? <laughs> Die, Brush. <laughs> You're dead, Threepwood. Order! I will have order in my court. Oh, so help me, I will shove this gavel down your stinking windpipe. <sighs> okay, that, that pissed him off again. Can I continue with... Right! Where were we? I wish to continue questioning myself. I'd like to recall myself to the stand. Well, get on with it. The witness is reminded that he is still under oath. That's fine. Captain Sheepgood. Reapwood. Ah, yes. <laughs> Shreveport. Reapwood. <laughs> Greensleeves. Reapwood. Treebeard? Okay, is this just gonna end with a fight every time? Sleepwood. Stack. Objection. Defense is stalling. The defense will get on with it! Yeah. Or the court will order his name legally changed to Captain Guts for Daughters! Okay, I see. Basically. Just calling myself to the stand is just a guaranteed way to enrage the judge. Right. That's what I was saying. Let us see. Change of venue. Your Honor, I'd like to request a change of venue. Where to? Oh, how about back at your place? Just you, me, a jug of grog, a loaf of bread, and some scandalous legal briefs. Night brush, no. And Threepwood will terminate his clumsy and off-putting attempts to seduce this court at once! Make me uncomfortable at it. And Skippy. Yeah. <sighs> Bring him raises this judge. Right, where were we? I rush for a second, can you not? Okay, let, let's ask for a recess. Your Honor, I'd like to call a recess to confer with my client. Bailiff, please escort Captain Threepwood to the brig. Aye, aye, Your Honor. Well, at least I'm not about to be dissected by a crazy scientist. Now to break out of here, find a lane and use La Esponja Grande to... Hey, what happened to my cool voodoo sponge? All possessions will be returned to the prisoner once he has been cleared of all charges. In the likely event that the prisoner is not cleared of all charges, his property will be distributed to his heirs. But I don't have any heirs that I know of. Then they'll be auctioned off at eBay. eBay. Oh no. Wait, one of those said loose. Isn't it? I mean, I don't know, loose patch of plaster. This part of the wall looks like it's made of pretty loose stuff. I wonder if I could dig my way out. Okay, then, then, then try. With the hook. What's that noise? Nothing. This part of the wall looks like it's made of pretty loose stuff. I wonder if I could dig my way out. Hmm. Can I walk over? Nope. There is literally nothing I can do. What's that noise? Nothing. Alright. Hey, guard. What do you want? 
entitled to some yeah. bread and water? Bread and water? <laughs> I pride myself on providing Flotsam's prisons with the finest in haute cuisine. Wait here. Well, that was easy. Wait here. Huh. That's funny. I mean, we're immediately going to try and break out, Guy Rush. Thought he'd never leave. What the? It's solid steel under here. Okay, never mind. What do you know? It wasn't so loose after all. Hmm. Okay. Oh, hi hey there. Hey, where's my dinner? My whole cuisine. Oh, the prisoners don't get any food. That's for the gods and judges. Delicious, too. Jerk. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Hey, guard. What do you want? Has this jail got any reading material? I'd suggest reading your legal briefs. You might need them. Good tip. I'll get right on that when I need something to put me to sleep. I want to see my lawyer. I want to see my lawyer. Your lawyer? Yeah, you might have heard of him. Guybrush Streetwood, mighty pirate at law. Fine. All right, counselor. Judge Grindstump says you got five minutes. That should be more than enough for this piece of scum. Hope you had a good excuse for dragging me out of bed <laughs> at this ungodly hour. Um, I need to know how my case is going. Got that right, guy, Rush. Days. Not to worry, old bean. I think I can talk the judge down from drawing quartering to drawing thirty. Fraud. Guard. I'm quite done with my client. I'll get you, Threepwood, if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> Wait, no, no. Sorry about that, Mr. Threepwood. I know those prisoners can be a rowdy lot. I think nothing of it, Mr. Hardtack. Now, where can I find a good grog? Club 41's right oh. over there, sir. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Okay. Hello? You? Tomorrow? I, yeah, I mean, what I remember what happened to you, right? Tell you what happened to my eyes, smarty guy. When I dug up that phony dark ninja Dave you planted. Allegedly planted? <laughs> Allegedly planted. I got a speck of dirt lodged in my eye. A week later it got infected. And Dr. Descent had to cut it out. Yeah, I just bet he did. Yep. Now I need a glass eye. Why do you want a glass eye? An eye patch is much more piratey. Eye patches are so last month. All the cool pirates are getting scary glass eyes these days. Okay. Hooks are still cool, right? Arr, I guess. But you really can't beat a glass eye. If I give you a glass eye... What are you in for? I got arrested for trying to auction a counterfeit Dark Ninja Day figurine at eBay. eBay? You know, that day with the auction thing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, luckily for me, Stan got me a reduced sentence in exchange for my testimony against you. Me? What did I do? You were the one that made the counterfeit Dave in the first place. Oh yeah, that. Look, I'm sorry about the jail time, but you've got to stop testifying against me. I've got a wife and scores of pirates to cure. You're going to cure the pox? Yeah, that's essentially. The... Yeah. Oh, I like that. All these pox pirates are yeah, always making not pox? fun of me. I know there's an option. I have to ask pox. you. Well, come on then. Let's do some business. Maybe. What can you offer me in return? A glass eye? How about I get you a glass eye for your eye hole? That sounds interesting. And it's a deal. But I knew there'd be a big noisy butt somewhere in there. I want a really cool glass eye. Okay. You know what? Pray tell makes a cool glass eye. It has to have a really cool color. Like the color in the eyes of those nasty poxed pirates when they're really, really angry. <laughs> the red. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, but why aren't you pox? You know, I can't help but pox. notice that you don't seem to be afflicted by the pox of the Chuck. Any pirates? Oh, don't remind me. All the other pirates have gotten the pox, so why not me? Have you thought about the possibility that you might not actually be a pirate? I am too a pirate! Okay, okay, you are a pirate. I'm sure the pox will be coming for you any day now. Okay. Uh, associating with hardened criminals like you can't be good for my legal situation. I'm out of here. Adios. Hey, San. Hey, what happened to, um... I don't remember what the... The keel holder, yeah. Stan? 
Kybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you out and about, kid. Hope they haven't been treating you too badly in the Huska. Well, there is a pretty scary looking rat in my cell. At least I hope it's a rat. Well, that's just swell, kid. Look, could you get out of the way and make room for some paying customers? What? Yeah, what are you doing, what are you here? doing out here? Shouldn't you be prepping for trial? Hey, no offense, Nothing kid, much, but the day old Stan can't beat you in open court with one wildly flapping arm tied behind his back is the day I haul my corpus juris back to Jambalaya Island for the full restitutio and integrum. Know what I mean? No, not really. <laughs> no, you really don't. Exactly. So if you're not preparing for trial, what are you doing out here? Following Stan's rule number one, ABM. ABM? Always be merchandising. Fair enough. People love following the trials of famous pirates, even B-list pirates like yourself. B-list? That's why old Stan got all the souvenirs and timeless keepsakes you'll ever need to remind you of this month's trial of the century. E-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-
Impossible. Nothing's impossible mm. when Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, is involved. And after I cure my wife and everyone else, I'll... Wife? Yeah. She was standing right next to me when the truck exploded, so the pox hit her pretty hard. I want you to hunt down and capture this wife of Guybrush Threepwood. Hey! What part of Non do you not comprend, Ace? But I need her! She's the only other pirate who could possibly have the Threepwood strain of the pox! Then get her yourself. My dear Mademoiselle Lefay, I don't get people. I hire people like you to get them for me. And if you won't get them, then maybe I'll find someone to get you. I don't like to be threatened. Oh, break his finger. Break his finger. No! Yes. Oh, my Falaji. <laughs> Falaji. What the? Oh. <sighs> that was a very, very bad mistake, mademoiselle. Well, it wouldn't be the first. Jerk. Jerk. Oh. Nice dartboard. Isn't it though? Ah, it was one of the few things the judge, I managed to salvage when I was washed ashore on Flotsam all those years ago. Can I play around? Unfortunately, the darts were lost a few weeks ago during a bar fight. <coughs> And pity too. What with the annual Flotsam Island Dart Tournament tomorrow night. Oh no. Blood Island. Hmm. I see that. Set me up with a line of Blood Island volcano shots. Me pleasure. These come with our complimentary Club Forty One insulated volcano shot glasses. Hewn out of molten lava. They can keep hot liquids hot for a week. Ooh. Impressive. You're downing them all? If it's a shot, you don't do that. Ooh, that's some hot grog on grog action. I'll just save this last one for later. Fair enough. Very painting. What's that artistic abomination? Ah, that be a painting of Flotsam Island's notorious jungle beast, painted by our own Hemlock McGee. Hemlock? Really? Aye, no one knows more about our legendary beastie than old Hemlock. Okay. Hey Morgan, let's talk to you. Not that I'm complaining, but why did you turn down to Singe's contract to hunt down my wife? I may be a backstabbing mercenary, but even I have some standards. Sure, now you have standards. Shame they couldn't have shown up before you. Oh, hey bro, she already feels guilty. Conscious and drag me back to Flotsam Island. What can I say? I'm complicated. Look at a guy brush. Jesus Christ, man. What did Desinge want with Elaine, anyway? You heard the man. Something to do with your unique strain of box? I guess he thinks your wife has it, too. Okay. You look uncharacteristically grim. Eh, it's been one of those days. Oh, I know what you mean. Betraying your childhood hero can really take it out of you. Hey, that was just business. Your business sucks more than the winds of Flotsam. Sometimes. Jesus Christ, look at her. What are those scary looking drinks? I've just. They're a row of Blood Island volcano shots. Guybrush, we they literally just drank painful. some. Painful. Only the first one. Yikes. I think you should know that I'm still really angry with you. Would it help if I bought you a drink? What? Yes. So you can poison me? I'll pass. Oh, damn it, Guybrush. I noticed that you're without pox. Not pirate. I'm pox free. Tested on a regular basis. Yeah. Well, do you know why? Probably because I'm not really a pirate, since I'm a pirate hunter. Gotta like a pox that respects minor semantical distinctions. You know, if you have even a scintilla of a guilty conscience, I could really use your help. Listening? Well, there's this trial going on. So I've heard. Some guy was trying to tell me that it's the trial of the century! E yep. e e yeah. Yeah, well, I could really use some trumped up evidence. Or a few intimidated witnesses. Or maybe a well-placed briber ten? You couldn't afford me. Of course. How silly of me. It's all about the pieces of eight with you, isn't it? Not always. I also accept pieces of nine. Well, okay. Fine. I can see you've got inner demons to wrestle with, so I'll just get on with my life. Thanks. And watch out for DeSinge. That thing he did with his finger was unnatural. Right, I suppose I should talk to... Hey, it looks the normal. 
Ah, this must be the screaming narwhal that my ship is named after. It's creepy. I'm guessing that thing looks just the mountain that, that fell. Now that I spent some time inside these docile Don Juans of the deep, I feel kind of queasy about seeing their heads yeah. mounted on a wall. Hmm. Hmm. Are you I'm trying to read what it says? Hmm. I don't. I don't know what it is. Oh, let's talk to. Hey, look, it's the mer. Uh, person. Uh... <laughs> Judge Grindstump. Oh, please! No need to be so formal. In here, I'm just plain old W.P. Grindstump, owner and proprietor of Club Forty One. Okay. Aren't you a little upset that I'm running around free? Heavens, no! <laughs> what kind of pirate town would this be if we didn't condone the occasional jailbreak? What a remarkably progressive attitude. Yeah. Besides, it's not as though you can really escape the swinging sword of flotsam justice. What with That's these true. blasted winds blowing in again? Ladies' night is looking a little, uh, grim. Well, it's early. Uh, once we got the buffet table laid out, this place will be I mean, hotter than How many than ladies the are there in this island? <laughs> I know of two. So you're really the owner of Club 41? Have been ever since I won it from the original owner in a dart tournament a few years back. Poor old guy never knew what hit him. And by hit him you mean... A dart. Right in the old noggin. Free. Who's the third? You got Morgan, the lady whose legs burnt. Oh, voodoo lady. I forgot about the voodoo lady. Nope, you're absolutely right. Well, this has been a little strange, but uh, I've got a name to clear and a pox to cure. Ah, uh, good luck with that. I think you forgot about the voodoo lady. We can all, let's see if we can go find her. Big girl. When I was a younger pirate, I used to lie awake on the deck of my ship and gaze at the seagulls as they majestically swooped and bobbed through the evening sky. And then they started pooping on me. So I stopped doing that. Have they blocked the, like, shortcut back out? Damn! Anything on the sand. Doesn't look like it. Alright. Let's go the other way. See what's out this way. Obviously trying to avoid the sands. How do you get there? Kinda creepy. What is I also have that puddle. What's that? Arr, you best watch your step. That be a puddle of molten glass. It'll cool down in a few seconds, but until it does, it'll melt your boots off. Okay. Can I make a glass ball out of it? I suppose the better question is, how would I make a glass ball out of it? That's really, um, something. Hey, isn't she a beauty? It's a prototype of a swashbuckling Susie long-lasting leg lamp. <laughs> that crystal on top will glow for days. Don't you think it's a little tacky? Nah, pirates love this kind of stuff. Fair enough. Can I take it? An eight-legged alpaca. Your fancy cryptozoology tricks won't fool me, laddie. Damn it. <laughs> Fine. Ow. Nope, didn't get any. I, I wondered if that would work. I don't want to dig my hook into that. I don't know where it's been. You can see where it's been. Maybe a cup. I better get some of this before it cools. Mmm, warm. Ooh, I just have a cup of molten glass. Maybe if I combine the two? Nope. Or maybe that would make it red. Hello there, uninformed man on the street. Oh, Hemlock. What do you want? <coughs> I see him in the background. I need to talk to him. I must have that leg lamp. I must? Forget it, Skinny. I'm not letting go of a perfectly good prototype. She hasn't got a mark on her. A well, mark? Sure, but hold on. Did you just call me skinny? I've seen skeletons fatter than you. A 
It's not my fault you associate with the obese undead. Okay. I see you can make a glass leg, but tell me, can you make a glass eye? Eye. But not just any glass eyes. Genuine imitation eyes made from the crystal wreath themselves. Awesome. Genuine imitation eyes? That's right. They'll imitate the eye color of anyone they see. You just point them at someone's eyes, give them a few seconds to set, and shazam! All new eye color. When you got a color you like, just pop it in your eye socket, and it'll stay that way forever. Ooh. I'm intrigued and cautiously optimistic. How much? Here. Try out this defective one for free. What? What makes defective? it defective? Aye. It's a little nearsighted. So you'll have to get up real close to the subject to capture their eye color. Thanks. I take back all the nasty things I wrote in my diary about you. Okay. I I think I can work with that. Um I'll see you in your um pectorals later. Yeah, well the three of us will be waiting. Okay, let's just leave him for the time being. I don't think going up to the Sand should be a good idea. Although there's something happening over there. What's this oozing fluid? Ow! What the heck is Desinge doing up there anyway? I don't know, but get a cup of it. I don't know why I'm getting cups of all this stuff. Sizzly. You know, if I was a little more scientifically inclined, I might be worried about the effects this stuff is having on any future generations of three points. So I've got caustic fluid, molten glass, and a volcano shot. It's Jock. The electromagnetic monkey. <laughs> Duck! How about I try and get you out of there, friend, with the caustic fluid? I don't want to pour acid on that. It could get scarred. Or worse, acid washed. Damn it. Oh, wait, the hook. The hook works. Well, let's see if this will work. Aha! i got to remember, the hook just opens locks. Let's get you out of here. Cool, I have a monkey. Can the monkey, because electric magnetic, get the things out of this? Yes. Whoa, that's one powerful magnetic monkey tail. <laughs> oh, that's great. Hey, McGee. Hi there, Twinkle Toes. Enjoy your last moments of freedom, cause you're going to pay for what you did to Miss Pretty Whiskers. I'd be happy to pay. Do you accept traveler's checks? How's Miss Grungy Whiskers doing? Her name isn't Grungy Whiskers, you love her liquor. It's Miss Pretty Whiskers. Oh god, I'm sorry. Drop the charges and I'll spare your life. Bah! <coughs> life ain't hardly worth living without the sound of Miss Pretty Whiskers' delicate pitter pat on the bar floor. I'm sure she feels the same way Aww. about the delicate pitter pat of your stumps. How's the box treating you? Oh, not too bad. I didn't really need that lung I coughed up. Yeah, vestigial lungs are the worst. I hear you may know something yeah, what about, is this about so jungle, called beast. jungle beast. None have seen the jungle beast, but tis the scariest, foulest, smellingest thing you ever didn't see. A dark jungle god that walks the land only by dead of night. Oh, well, it is night now. Dark jungle god. Aye. It was said to live within the stomach of the god of death. Peace. This thing sounds badass. Horses. Until one day, death ate some bad shellfish and up chucked the jungle beast into existence. <sighs> But if you haven't seen it, how do you know it exists? Because it eats. To appease the beast, we've left many a fleshy sacrifice on the jungle altar. By morning, I the mean... meat <laughs> disappears from the altar without a trace. Disappearing meat. Yep, jungle god's the only explanation. Of course. What exactly are you doing? Mixing up Miss Pretty Whiskers' food. What's it to you? Can I have some? No. Okay. See ya. Can I put 
pavings in the bowl. Hey, look, a five-headed bonobo. Yes. What? I didn't see nothing. I have an idea. Sorry, must have been a weather balloon. <laughs> that fire is still going. Oh, wow. to the rest of the stuff. That bacon grease is still burning. Can I do anything with that? Can I make a monkey eye? I'm curious. They say that monkey eyes are 99.5% the same as human eyes. I can. Huh. That's cool. I kind of want to combine the eye with everybody else's to see what happens. Hey, Hemlock. Mind if I capture your eye color? What the what now? Hey! <laughs> Thanks. How's Hemlock? Oh, that's cool. I already know what I need to do for that. Okay. So. How about... I still need to figure out the deal with that woman. Where she got that scarf from. I assume there must be something in here. That looks like a pirate flag. I wonder what happened to Murray. He's down at the bottom of... Um... Gooey wax. Oh, well, that's something else from my cup. Nothing like a little hot wax on a cold, flotsam night. I don't know why I'm doing this. What's this? That'll be Club 41's famous Flotsam Island Ladies' Night Buffet Table. In a few hours, it'll be spilling over with flaming chocolate cupcakes, Ooh. barbecued narwhal horns, uh. deep-fried petty fours, Ooh. and all that other girly stuff that our swashbuckling lady oh. pirates love. Maybe I, sh <laughs> maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> uh, go to the bathroom, I suppose. Ooh, there's a knife. You pied! Sorry. I want the knife. Give me the... No, nope, can't take the knife. I can't see anything that would have... Guard the lady. Nothing in particular, anyway. Okay. I guess let's reconvene the trial and see what I can do. I should also actually see what happens when I try and walk past. He probably won't let me. I may as well try it anyway. Who goes there? It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate at law. Oh, Councillor Threepwood. <laughs> what can I do for you? Can I go past you? No hard feelings about being humiliated in open court? No worries, mate. I've been humiliated so often it's kind of second nature to me by now. Great. Besides, I didn't really think it was much of a case anyway. But that Stan fella, he seemed to think I could make a pretty piece of it off of your untimely execution. So I figured, huh, what the heck? Fair enough. I'd like to go into the jungle. I need to talk to a large Buddha lady about a not-so-large sponge. Sorry, mate. I'm afraid I can't allow prisoners to wander out into the jungle. You might get lost to go into hiding. Damn it. But I'm not a prisoner. I'm the prisoner's attorney, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate at law. Hmm. Well, that is a stumper, all right. But uh, just to be on the safe side, Damn it. I think it would be for the best if I kept both Guybrush Threepwoods out of the jungle until their trials are over. Um. Why aren't you back on Spinnaker? on Flotsam Island anyway. Well, <coughs> after that series of misadventures on Spinnaker, I've found myself without a captain or a ship. Sorry about that. Eh, it happens. So I drifted for a bit before landing here on Flotsam. <coughs> now I've hired on as Judge Grindstock's personal bailiff slash chef, creating all sorts of new delicacies for his nightclub. It's a bit of a dream come true, it is. Okay. Hmm. Fine. 
I can be chopped off one of the charges. That's fine. Yeah. So, let, let's think for a second. I can get the cat to move. My, basically, my idea is the monkey's still electromagnetic. So if I get somehow involve the monkey in the iron shavings I put in the cat's food, the cat will move. According to the briefs, if it moves an inch, they'll throw the case out. Next thing I need to know... What? Oops, let me do that. Icky. Hard to believe that nacho sauce could do that. Not. I need this leg. He said mark. So is there anything I can do to make that mark on it? I don't want to dig my hook into that. I don't know where it's been. What about pouring caustic fluid on it? Whoops! Hey! Arr. Now look what you did! I'm sorry. Arr. You clumsy clam clipper! You ruined my prototype! Now I'll have to start all over! Arr. So if it's messed up, can I have it? Fine, take it! Just get out of me sight! Arr. Nice. Help me get a leg up in the trial. Okay. Red shaped parrot. Wait, what? Emily has. Okay, let's combine different things then. Ah. Uh, maybe the wax now. Hey, I've managed to recreate it. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it'd be. Hmm. Okay. That should be two counts of things I can throw out. Who goes there? It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate at law. Oh, Councillor Threepwood. <laughs> what can I do for you? Let's get the trial back on. I'd like to return to court to defend my client. All righty then. Let's find Judge Grindstump. The Pirate Court of Flotsam Island is back in session. The Right Honourable Wallace P. Grindstump presiding. Let's keep it moving. Oh, and it, I can easily get the other one thrown off as well. Um, give me a second. I'd like to recall myself to the stand. Well, get on with it. Get him to the go into a rage fit. Reminded that he is still under oath. Uh, let's do that one. Captain Threepwood, what's your impression? <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. The witness is making a mockery of this court. Were these magic grits? In that operating room, I am God. A dingo ate me, baby. You can't handle the truth. There's something on the wing. Just quotes. The silliness at once, or the court will knock your benighted heads together. All right, I hold that crazy pose. Gotcha. There we go. Easy. Right. Where were we? How do I... Alright, let's, let's call a witness. Hemlock. I'd like to call Hemlock McGee back to the stand. Hem I'm right here. <coughs> that was fast. I'd like to remind... Yeah, I'm still under oath. Okay. Hemlock. Okay, In just mind. a moment, Your Honor. Uh, monkey. With Hemlock's cat. Your Honor, pirates and assorted buccaneers, Hemlock McGee has asserted that it was I, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate, that brought about the horrible emotional scars that even now leave poor Miss Pretty Whiskers paralyzed with fear. But I put it to you that it was not your humble defendant who traumatized Hemlock's unfortunate feline, but a far more insidious assailant, the one who's in this very courtroom as I speak. Jacques! Jacques the Jacques monkey! The monkey. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Objection, there's no evidence of monkey play here. No? Let's ask the victim. 
This pretty whiskers is up and about and seeking revenge just like a good pirate cat should. Miss Pretty Whiskers, come back! <laughs> we'll get our revenge together! Oh, poor Jack. <laughs> Your Honor, I rest my case. Mr. Prosecutor! Well, considering that my client and evidence just ran out the door, I guess old Stan's gonna have to drop this one. Good idea! In the case of McGee and Pretty Whiskers versus Threepwood, the Pirate Court of Flotsam finds Hell in yeah. favor of the defendant, Guy Brush Threepwood! Come on, Judge, get him with the pox! Don't you make me send the bailiff up there! Right, next one. Get the girl back up here, Catherine, whatever her name is. Crep, that's the one. I'd like to recall Bosun Krebs to the stand. Catherine Krebs! Now, oh, remember, darling, you're still under oath. I... I have this. Looks identical to yours. Your Honor, I'd like to introduce this leg lamp into evidence as proof that Bosun Catherine Krebs is lying about her so-called nacho sauce burn. This proves nothing! Objection, Your Honor. The scars on this leg-shaped lamp may look like my clients, but who knows how they got there? I know. I'm glad you asked. So you see, Your Honor, Catherine's distinctive burns were not caused by Club 41's nacho sauce, but by an unlikely combination of scalding fluids found throughout Flotsam Island. Isn't that true, Bosun Krebs? Yeah. Answer the question, <laughs> you she-devil! It's true. After Guybrush knocked that platter of nachos onto my lap, I saw my chance for revenge and concocted this foolish scheme. Revenge? You still don't remember me? The woman whose ship you sunk? Who spent years languishing in prison for your crimes? The woman whose husband you humiliated in that creepy karaoke contest? Nope. No. Sorry. You're on a blank. Arr! Your Honor, I move that Bosun Catherine Krebs's charge be dropped. I don't remember that at all. I got nothing, Your Honor. Sounds Very like something well. Gaiver should do. In the matter of Krebs versus Threepwood, the Pirate Court of Flotsam Island finds in favor of the defendant Guy Brush Threepwood. Oh, no! Alright, and lastly, I need to give Jacqueline the eye. So let's get back out. Your Honor, I'd like to call a recess to confer with my client. Bailiff! Please escort Captain Threepwood to the brig. Oi, oi, Your Honor. And then escort me back out. Hey, guard. What do you want? I want to talk to my lawyer. I want to see my lawyer. Again? Not getting any smarter. <laughs> uh, that's, that's so stupid. That is such a stupid thing. But you know what? I love it. Here you go. Check in. Have an eye. Captain Doro? Do you have it? One nigh indestructible glass eye. Pox colored, just like all the cool pirates are wearing. Hachi Santa Pica and Santa Fe! Ay, 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 ay. My eye is really scary. Now, according to Crimp Digit, all you have to do to set it is pop it in your eye socket. Ooh. How do I look? Dangerous. I think you mean dangerously cool. Yeah, eh? sure. Sure, whatever. Now, about your testimony. No problem, mi amigo. Just call me back to the stand and ask me about this. Your Dark Ninja Dave porcelain power pirate's treasure map? I'd just smuggle this into here. In my, uh, let's say, mouth. Ah, prison pocket. Okay. Time to get back in. I want Guybrush. Get back up there. Who go? Oh, it's you. Ready to convene court. I'd like to return to court to defend my client. All righty then. Let's find Judge Grindstump. The Pirate Court of Flotsam Island is back in session. The Right Honorable Wallace P. Grindstump presiding. Time is grog, Captain. Time is grog. Right, call a witness. Jacqueline de Oro. I'd like to recall Captain Doro to the stand. Can someone pull de Oro out of his cell? The court would like to remind Captain Doro that he is still under oath. See? Right. I need to ask you about this map. Huh? Captain Doro, what can you tell me about this map? Objection! 
Defense Exhibit 42, Your Honor. This is the map the witness used to find his Dark Ninja Dave power pirate. I'll allow it, but not your eternally flapping <laughs> mouth, you festering chum hole! Continue. I purchased this map at eBay six months ago from mm -hmm. a traveling salesman with a plaid jacket and waving arms. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. I forgot he bought it from Stan. <laughs> porcelain power pirate's treasure map. But I have since learned that it was just as counterfeit as the power pirate it led me to. And who was the dastardly swindler <laughs> who sold see. you this map? <laughs> it was... Hey, would you look at that? I misfiled my glorious mundus. Your Honor, on behalf of the Porcelain Power Pirates Corporation, I'd like to ask that all charges pertaining to the unfortunate counterfeiting of the Dark Ninja Dave action figure be dropped against Captains Joaquin de Oro and Guybrush Threepwood. Smart move, Counselor. In the matter of Porcelain Power Pirates versus de Oro, de Oro versus Threepwood, etc., 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 this court finds in favor of Hell the yeah. defendants. Call this justice. Where's the hangings? You want hangings? Just keep it up, you swabs! There we go. Uh, let's see here. Uh, cleared. Hmm. Dropped. Hmm. Yes. Congratulations, yeah. Captain Threepwood. It appears that you have successfully gotten yourself out from under your various civil charges. Shiver me timbers, Stumpy. I guess I'll be going. He says to civil. Hold on, what's this? There appears to be a criminal charge on the other side of this blasted paper. Huh? Assault with molten nacho cheese isn't criminal? What else is there? The creation, incubation, dissemination, oh. proliferation, and mastication of a pox or pox-like affliction. A class one felonious act here on Flotsam. Oh, Flotsam. Right. Yeah. How do you plead? I plead guilty. Not guilty. 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 Is that so? Is the mandatory sentence a slap on the bottom and a public shaming? Uh, let's see here. No, it's death. Oh. Oh, then not guilty. <laughs> On what grounds? <laughs> Insanity. Pox isn't my fault. Pox isn't my fault. It's LeChuck's. Yeah. It all started with the cursed cutlass of Kaflu. Off the rock of gelato, LeChuck was doing something evil with monkeys, and I was all brrr. But then LeChuck broke my root beer bottle, and I had to substitute some of the voodoo lady's ingredients. And then LeChuck turned into a human, and all this voodoo went boom, and... Well, it's not my fault. Your Honor, the defendant is hand-waving. And believe me, I know from hand-waving. Mm -hmm. But seriously, we all know that the cloud of pox vexing this fair island arrived soon after the defendant and his oozing appendage crept upon these shores. Disgustifying it was. Then, after infecting everyone in sight, the pox cloud magically blew away at exactly the same moment That's that the Guybrush sailed away. Stealing Flotsam's only ship, I might add. Hey, I won that ship, fair and square. Now, Threepwood has returned, and so has the cloud of pox. What a coincidence. And yet here he stands concocting fanciful stories of a human lechuk, voodoo cutlasses, and a so-called rock of Of course, of the only thing that could actually well, be proven. Threepwood, do you have any witnesses to your unlikely tale? Morgan Le Fay? Do. She's... Thunderbunny. Elaine. Thunderbunny, <laughs> that's the name. A fast, ye blubbering belugas. I'm sucking your port. Bring me all your spoiled swags, booty and boodle. Elaine, let's plunder more money, please. And you, me bunny lass, step into me captain's quarters and let me ravish you. Oh, city. boy. Oh, to finally hold you in me arms again. It makes me want to... What's this? The scent of betrayal? Who is this oh, tawdry dear. witch? Uh, nobody. No one. She'll die by me, oh, Rusty Bell! Oh, no. my witness. And she must be summoned. Bailiff, serve the woman immediately. <laughs> yes, sir. Good luck. Ah, uh, you'd better be using the voodoo summons. That saucy sea hag doesn't look like she be respecting the customs of pirate law. Aye, aye, sir. But first, hold the defendant's pox spreading keister oh, damn back to the brig. All right, you. Stay put until I summon your ball and chain. Um, uh, good I luck. Call her that. She. Oh, my. 
Ooh. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah, Want me to do it? What happened to you? Oh, I'll tell you what happened. I went to Club 41 to hand this summons to your better half, and she backhanded me right out of the bar. Oh. Ouch. If you want that banshee on the stand, you're gonna have to serve her yourself. Okay. See if the local doctor can fix me job. Won't, won't go to him. That means I should be able to go into the jungle now. That's a good thing. What the? Oh dear. Oh, ladies' night. Guy oh yes, it's ladies' your night. Lost her mind. And you're about to lose Olivia, sea cow. Elaine, sugar cakes. Let's stop fighting and work this out over a nice cold light grog. Or you two can just figure out this little misunderstanding on your own. I'll be over here appreciating my head's ability to stay attached to my neck. But that guy brush. Ooh, scrap of paper. Hmm, a recipe for something called a Fat Island Fuzzy Nostril. What is? Seems simple enough. Okay. Hey, all the darts are back. Yikes. Of the way, you blithering hunk of man meat! I won't be able to get any closer to the dartboard with those hell kittens in the way. Okay. Morgan! What do you think you're doing? I mean, Don't ask me. yeah, to be ask fair. Crazy I think I'm Elaine. You through, you high seas hussy. Um. Elaine? You should know that Morgan and I spent a few nights together inside of a manatee. It's what? Uh, uh, You're a dog, Guybrush. God damn it. <laughs> um, ladies, please. There's plenty of Guybrush Threepwood to go around. Well, that won't be when I'm done with you. Get over yourself, Threepwood. Yikes. Yeah, let's just uh, make everyone hate me. Hey, Morgan. I think you're losing your edge. <laughs> I'll show you an edge. <laughs> hey. Well, I maybe know what I need to do. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go think of something clever. Try not to kill each other while I'm away. Yeah. Now there's four ladies on the uh, flotsam. Yes. Okay, that's not gonna work though. So I can get them to move. See if I'm getting to like fight somewhere else. Maybe by talking to this girl. Hey, Krebs. What do you want? It's nice to see one female pirate in this bar isn't a fight crazed wackadoodle. Oh, I am. I'm just loading up on carbs before joining the fight. Doesn't pay to have a sugar drop in the middle of one of these things, you know. Tell me, did it? Oh, Tell God. Me. Did it hurt? Did what hurt? When you fell out of pirate heaven. There we oh, go. But this will. Stay away from Guybrush, you sea hog. Yep, yeah, there we go. I figured. Yikes! Now, although no, Guybrush, that was your chance. Wait, yes. Still okay. Still okay. Quickly put the summons on the dartboard. Oh, come on. Now, would you mind steering clear of the dartboard? Uh, now that I found me darts, I need to practice before tomorrow night's tournament. I need to attach this to that. Hey, WP. Captain Threefoot, what can I do you for? Um, yeah, it looks like Looks like Lady's Night is picked up a bit. Picked up a little too much for my taste. These she beasts have scared away all me eligible hard drinking, hard spending I'm sorry. bachelors. Um. Would you mind knocking it off with the darts for a minute? 
Not on your life! I need to get in oh, a week's it. worth of practice before tomorrow night's tournament. And who knows how long those hellions will stay out of my way. Hmm, okay, so how can I get him to stop? Maybe by giving him the recipe? Can you make one of these Fat Island fuzzy nostrils? Aye aye, Captain! While you're making that, I'll just... Order up! One Fat Island fuzzy nostril! Heavy on the fuzz. That was absurdly fast. Arr! Libations! Ah, <laughs> Okay. So, that's a good thing to know. That's how... What the hell did you do in there? Okay. I need to figure out. Just what some I always stuff. wanted. An ant infested sack of sugar. Going on over can I do I still have cups? I don't have cups anymore. Well, now, now he's pinned. No, because um, they're them fighting. I get in the way and they almost stab me. Ew. What was that? Oh, that's another, another drink. Hey, what's this piece of paper stuck? It's a recipe for a drink called a Tri Island Tuna Colada. Okay, it's we can try that. Complicated. There we go. Right, let's talk to this girl again. Hey, Krebs. What do you want? What you gonna do with all that gold? Got that guy brush. Oh, what gold? All that gold inside your chest. Stay away from guy brush, you sea hog! <laughs> now they're away. Arr! I can distract him with making a complicated drink, and then I can attach it to the dartboard. Hey, can you make this drink, please? Can you make one of these? A Tri Island Tuna Colada? Arr, that takes me back. I haven't made one of these since I was a bosun under Captain Bo. Oh. Can you make one? I'm really in the mood. Aye, but it'll take some doing to scrounge up That's the That's fine by me. Take your time. Because now... Put this I'll on the dot I'll put this here for safekeeping. Done! One Tri Island Tuna Colada! Now I can get back to me darts! Except you can't! Libations! <laughs> ah, Jimmy! Right, get back to talking to them. Okay, this is really flattering, but let's calm down and talk this out like adults. You got this alone? Calm when the has been filleted like a fish! You know, you're not even in some sword fighting. It's not that interesting. Elaine, Tucklebear, Morgan's all bark and no bite. You want bite? Uh, you got it. And I'll throw in the bark for free. There we go. Good for nothing words getting in the way of my killing. Honey, you are formally summoned to appear before the court of Judge Grindstump in the case of the people of Flotsam versus Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. TM. Phew. Now I know who wears the daddy pants in the relationship. I mean, you yeah. Stay away from my boy's pants, or I'll hang you from my Jolly Roger, you Jezebel! And you, don't think you can totter around with some tart and not get a fistful of what? <laughs> She's a catch. Uh, yep. And conveniently, not a rotten double crosser. I told you I had a job to do. Sure, just doing your job. Tell me. Aside from all the silver, how are the benefits? Guybrush. Do you get health care for the repetitive stress injuries caused by all the backstabbing and cutting off people's hands? God. I said I was sorry. Sorry? I can't pick my left nostril without risking a lobotomy. What if I... What if nothing? Goodbye, Morgan. I've got a wife to cure in an island to save. Oof. Oof. Mrs. Threepwood. This isn't gonna go well. Please, tell the court how this horrible pox is all LeChuck's fault. LeChuck? That stick in the mud wouldn't know a good pox if it kicked him in the fundament. Heck, 
There wouldn't even be a pox if you'd gone through with the voodoo lady's recipe properly. But no, you had to wave that root beer bottle around like some yep. sort of conquering hero. Oh, look at me. I be Guy Brush Threepwood, mighty pirate. You're not helping, dear. Next thing I know, you tried to replace root beer with root grog and bam, pox all over the place. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. Okay. Yep. Honey, why don't you please tell everyone how I've been trying to find a cure for the pox? Don't you honey me, you two-tiny cannon scrubber. I bet all this talk of looking for La Esponja Grande was all plot to spend time canoodling with your little privateering she-slag. Oh, La Esponja Jesus. Grande, yes, it's right over there, see? Sure it is. Oh... Could you give the court some idea of what a fine... Probably not the right time to say is? this. Well, let's see. When I first met him, he was breaking into my mansion to steal a statue. Later, after shanghaiing a crew to take him to Monkey Oops. Island, he totally failed to rescue me from the evil clutches of the ghost pirate LeChuck, so I had to dress up a couple of monkeys in a bridal gown. This may have been a yeah. bad line of questioning. Then he left me hanging over a pit while he went looking for the treasure of Big Whoop. I mean, you I went didn't down there from him for three years after that. Oh dear. Turned me into a bleeding statue. Left the seat up. Oh, and that's not even mentioning all the times I found myself tied up, manacled, or otherwise incarcerated because of his blithering idiocy. You're too good for him, love. <laughs> Save his belly with a rusty razor. Save his belly with a rusty razor. Anyway, um, yeah, we I'd need to... I'd like a second to think about my next move, Your Honor. Make it fast! Your character witness is oozing all over my courtroom! Well, uh, she's not the best. Hey, hardtack. Defense will refrain from addressing the bailiff in open court! Sorry. Sorry. Can I please have the Sponge Grande back? Your Honor, Buccaneers of Flotsam. You all believe that I, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, have brought this horrible pox to your shores. Off with his Run him off the Eat plank! The jungle beast! What if I were to tell you that I could tame this unruly witness, prove my good intentions, and begin the process of curing you it, all of this hideous not gonna work. pox all in one fell swoop? Hmm, this is not I don't know. Eat maybe. Eat it to the jungle beast! Your Honor, I object. Defense is grasping at sponge-shaped straws here. Not gonna work. But get on with it, Captain! The hangman gets overtime if we keep him up after midnight! With pleasure, Your Honor. Wenches and pirates, I give you Exhibit S, the wonder of La Esponja Grande. I thought it'd be bigger. <laughs> now behold, as a simple exfoliating motion of La Esponja Grande washes away the pox, restoring my wife to her usual mostly pleasant demeanor. Eh, uh, yeah. Arr! Sugar cakes? Off with his head! Get that piece of seaweed off me, you deep sea doily diver! Needs to be bigger. Does the defense have any other pointless arguments it would like to make? Uh, this is sort of all I got. Then, by the power vested in me by the put upon pirates of Flotsam Island, I summarily sentence you to be hanged by your pox spreading neck until you are right there. The Chuck! What? Oh. What is the meaning of this? My name is LeChuck, and I can tell you exactly what Guybrush did. LeChuck? I thought he was a ghost. I heard he was a zombie. Uh, he is also a demon. You see, Your Honor, the pox is all my fault. Listen to him. <laughs> for decades, I dabbled in the dark forces of voodoo, clamoring for power. I hungered for it. I yearned for it. I pillaged, plundered, and killed for it. I can attest to all of this. And it was my accumulated voodoo that infected you all. Dark, evil voodoo that was explosively released when I was once again defeated by the perpetually heroic Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, yeah. He's not kidding. I've killed him, like, five times. So you see, Guybrush Threepwood is not the source of this pox. I am. And I hereby throw myself upon the mercy of this court, or lack thereof. Off with your head! But wait, there's more. 
It turns out I had an unknown silent power urging me down those darkened oh. blue corridors. A power far more insidious than I could ever hope to be. I submit to the court this journal, property of <gasps> the Quiet <gasps> Up There! The Voodoo Lady! Oh! That creepy lady who lives in the shack? What the what? In these pages, you will find detailed plans laid out by the voodoo lady over the course of many years to manipulate my never-ending rise to power. My hunger for voodoo, my seemingly endless cycle of ironically comical death and disturbing resurrection. My obsession with the darling Elaine. It's all because of her. Off with her head! Get to the jungle what? What can't be true? Can it? Order! Order! I hereby call for the release of Guybrush Threeport and the immediate imprisonment of LeChuck and the Voodoo Lady! To the brig with both of them! I bet it up to me I catch all this land loving lollygagging. I'm a plunder me some treasure. Chuck, we need to talk. Don't worry about me, my friend. Go cure your wife. Okay. Well, I'm finally free, but now my pox crazed wife is nowhere to be found. A mad scientist is hunting her for who knows what reason, and the legendary voodoo sponge that was supposed to cure her has turned out to be useless. Under normal circumstances, I'd ask the voodoo lady for help. But she's sitting in the jail cell next to my arch enemy, who may or may not be my best friend, after it's been <laughs> revealed that she has been the secret power behind most of my travails over most of my life as a pirate. Maybe I should have been a beekeeper like my Uncle Sid. Hi, voodoo lady. What's the deal with the sponge? You're the only one who can hey, really help. You! Hello, Treepwood. You sent me on a wild albatross chase for La Esponja Grande and promised me it would cure the pox. But after fending off sexually ambiguous merpeople, a giant manatee, and your crazy ex-boyfriend, what do I get for my trouble? This sorry excuse for a kitchen sponge. La Esponja. Ah, I noticed you strategically left out the Grande from this worthless piece of junk. Once it cured my piddly leftover pox, it didn't have enough mojo left to cure Elaine. Yeah. It's not worthless. It is nearly young. It must be brought to maturity in order to reach its voodoo absorbing potential. Okay. What to maturity? How am I supposed to do that? Give it a talk about the sponge birds and sponge bees? <laughs> like all infants, La Esponja needs nourishment. It must be fed six special voodoo courses to bring okay. it to adult size. What sort of meal is that? A feast for the senses. The menu, Treepwood. Take it. And served a sponge a meal unlike any other. And then it will grow. Hey, neat. There's a map of the Flotsam Jungle on the cover. No more listening to bees and birds and boars for this mighty pirate. Wait, but. Hmm. A feast for the senses. Oh, whoops. Don't mean to click that, sorry. A video feast and six courses guaranteed to embiggen the smallest beastie. First course. Put on a napkin that's a sight, a garish cloth so grotesquely bright. Once completed in order, your beastie will grow to maturity, so constitutions encouraged. Right, well, I know what bit of cloth is so garish around here. Hey there, youngster. I know you're curious about the behind the scenes working of Stan's I, I don't mean to click this, but. But I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to step away from the door. Why? Cause that's where Stan works his magic, kid. It's where what my dreams to the become reality. And some of my realities become Gazette. dreams. So it's where you're sleeping. Yeah, but only until this souvenir business picks up. I wanted to click. Okay, I can't just click the toys. Stan! Three foot! No hard feelings over all those various civil and criminal charges? Nah. Water under the bridge. <laughs> Great. A bridge with a fast talking shyster slash salesman dangling from it. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, what yeah. kind of souvenirs could you possibly be making out of the Buddha Lady and LeChuck? Oh, ye of little faith! Feast your eyes on the all-new People versus LeChuck and the Voodoo Lady collection. Yo, the pen. What's this? That's a little decorative pin I've whipped up. Trial of the Century Two. 
Electric voodoo loop. Electric voodoo loop. We're still working on a time. <laughs> What's that one? That's our cursed cutlass of Kaflu Lechuk doll. Press the button for its special transforming glow. What's happening? Uh, it's a little bright. Yeah, we're still working out a few kinks. Can I have it? What's that? It's my entrancing voodoo lady dashboard good luck charm. Ooh, disturbing. Yep, I don't like that. Okay. Mm, on second thought. Say no more. Right. So I need his jacket. He's not going to give it to me. Let's let's go explore the jungle. Or not. What was that? Um, Something sure shoved a short sword up his aft sail. Yeah. What what happened up there? Lane, maybe. Hey, someone trashed the place. Morgan! Morgan. What happened? Oh, damn. <laughs> Went to get your hand. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. <laughs> Had to pay you back for all the trouble. Found Jacques. He told me. You can talk, monkey? What? He told me. What? What did the monkey tell you? <laughs> Damn. I don't think the sun. Singe. I I don't think he did though. Wait, he was running. Oh, maybe he did. Damn. Singe will pay for this. Auto trepanation helmet. Hmm. Trepanation. What? My thumb. Okay. God, did God. Makes his tongue weird. Don't know why I need his tongue to be weird. Ow. What the? Wait, what? <laughs> what? Uh... Okay. That one makes me small. Temporarily. What about the third button? Ow. You make me big? Ah, I'm blind! Phew. Okay, it makes me blind temporarily. How's that gonna be helpful? Who knows? Ow! Whoa! Um help okay that's um interesting shock jack likes it it'd take a seven-year correspondence course in mad sciencing before i'd even have a hope of fixing that thing oh poor jack huh darn no more bananas curse you banana god it looks like the singe is using my hand to make something called the jus de vie Upside down. <laughs> the Vicalian wind control device? What is that creep doing with it now? It looks like he wants to dangle you in front of it. But he's the hand. Did oh, the singe Elaine. murder you too? I know it's actually highly it's likely. Locked. I'm still saying that the singe probably did not kill Morgan. 
if I had to have to guess. Right, let's go into the jungle then. I, it's like the only thing I can think to do right now. Let's go to the wind control device. See what's going on here. Where the hell is Guybrush? Oh god, he's running all the way around? That's weird. This whole idol is under one of Crimp Digit's unbreakable glass bottles. I don't have the things. It looks like the old Achillean wind control device has been set to suck again. But what's that tubing around its fingers all about? Probably how he controls it now, if I had to guess. Alright. I was... I mean... I don't even know what's supposed to be the start point here. Well, that's odd. Okay. It's like a whole new map now. Okay, but why? Why does that even matter? Yeah, what I mean, right? What what is the point to this? I, I did something? I'm not too sure what. Oh my god, please stop. Let me. There we go. Never remember. I, I don't know what I'm after with this map. I mean, maybe the map comes later. Well, can I fish in this well? The tide must be high. I can almost reach down and touch the well water. I don't want to dig my hook into that. I don't know where it's been. Or oh, sugar down it. Yes. I don't know why I tried, did that. Jungle fireflies. Nature's little spotlights. Cool. Why did I want fireflies? That doesn't need to be illuminated. Those fireflies are so pretty, it almost makes you forget they spend half their lives as maggots. Cool, I mean this is like Curse of Monkey Island all over again, but I, I... I don't know why. I don't know why I did that. Why... I... That's weird. Yeah. The trail didn't go anywhere. That's weird. 18... 19... 20... Hey, Thunder Bunny. Marks the... When I get me hands on that <laughs> coated skunk, uh... I'm going to rip off his waving arms and beat him to a briny pulp with him. What are you looking at? This is going to eternal life. You know, the singe... Le spectre de Grand César. Did you not think after? Doesn't look like Elaine's in any immediate danger. <laughs> the last the time you used that. Any unforgivable atrocities before I finish enlarging my pox curing sponge. You know, it didn't work when you used it on me. The Starlands Journal. Despite repeated efforts to lace bait for tracking elements, beast spore remains indistinguishable from the jungle floor. Though if only the beast left the path as bright as flotsam of beautiful jungle fireflies. Wait, what's that smell? Hmm. Oh, I'm back here. Okay. So it's to track the beast that I did that? Uh, I keep ending up back in the same place. Go this way. This is the entrance, is it not? Yeah. Okay, there's an altar. Anything else worthwhile around here? 
It's a purple one now. I wonder who put this idol under glass, and why? Have a guess. Guess who would do that? It's really pretty obvious. I'm uh, guessing that goes nowhere. That's weird. The trail didn't go anywhere. Oh, there's so many trails that just don't go anywhere now. Okay. Well, so far, I've not come across anything useful. Hmm. What about the video lady's shack? I haven't been there. Gotta wait for Guybrush to run through the jungle. What in the name of Bluebeard's hair dye? Hey, no poaching. I have called dips. What? I think I may be lost. Shouldn't there be a creepy voodoo shack right about there? There was, until they came to arrest that pox-spreading voodoo lady. What happened? First came the flames. Poor Senor Nipperkin went up like St. Elmo's fire. Then she emerged from the conflagration, mumbling ancient curses with every regal step. I never forget the baleful stare she fixed me with as she was left away. And look, condemning me to a lifetime of suffering, shame, and regret. Okay. And if that wasn't bad enough, I, I haven't found one bit of cool voodoo stuff in the wreckage. Come on. Mob justice can be so unfair. Well, let's have a look through, shall we? Even when it's burned to the ground, the voodoo lady's shack is still creepy. Moss. Would moss like a light? Moss would Whoa. like a light. Uh-oh. Looks like these finicky moths won't eat a jacket that's encrusted with bacon grease, fish water, and manatee guts. Lucky me. Yeah, I mean, I I don't blame them. Okay, I'll assume... That that's how I get, um... Stan's jacket, right? They won't eat my jacket, but maybe they'll eat Stan's. At least that's the period I'm going for. It. Here you go, Sam. All right, little fellas, check out these high def duds. Well, that's just great. The lamp's dead. Yep, yeah, but then I push the button on the well, at least the, the model. Stan's is keeping the ah. from returning to the jungle. Stan. Guybrush, old pal. I want to have a look at that um, toy again. Can I take another look at your voodoo lady and the Chuck Googaws? Can't keep your eyes off him, huh? Nope. Especially this little Chuck What's doll. That one? That's our cursed cutlass of Kaflu, the Chuck doll. Press the button for its special transforming glow. What's happening? Uh, it's a little bright. Yeah, we're still working out a few kinks. And down they go. Hey, now, what's this? A fuzzy flying fan club? Ah! Hey, knock it off, you nutty nipplers! <laughs> that, ah, that hurts! Sweet, ah, fancy... Ah, some garish cloth. Well, that was one heck of an experience, eh, Threepwood? It's a good thing old Stan always keeps a few spare jackets in the back office, or I'd be defending my clients in the all together. Say, that's not a bad idea. Stan S. Stan Man. Naked attorney of the Stan. You've got nothing to hide, <laughs> and neither uh, does he. Um. No time to chat, Threepwood. I've got business cards to print. There we go. Sweet. So do I just combine that with the cloth? The sponge even? You know, when I dreamed of becoming a mighty pirate, I never imagined that one day I'd be tying eye-popping napkins around the non-existent necks of <laughs> mystical sponges. Alright, well, n now what? I've, I've, I've done the first course. Once completed, in order, your EBC will go. Okay, but how do I... Oh! Okay, second horse. Antipasta jungle meat gives off a smell like stinky feet. Okay. So I, I need. I better fold this up before I put it in my pocket. 
Need to catch that beastie then. Hmm. Do any meat I can have? AWP? Just, just meat. Looks like ladies' night has finally come to an end. I, I'm thinking about canceling it in favor of something a wee bit safer, like ultimate mumbly pig night or amateur <laughs> tattoo <Chitati>. night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Morgan lefley has been murdered by the Marquis de Singe. Oh my, that is troubling. She was well on her way to becoming one of me best customers. Weren't you gonna do something? Oh, I'm sorry, lad, but I preside over a pirate court, meeting out justice exclusively for pirate on pirate crimes. <laughs> this this sounds like a case of mad scientist on privateer violence. Uh, totally out of my jurisdiction, you see. I think there may be a court in the lower mandibles that handles such affairs, along with ninja and clown crimes, uh, but they only convene every second Thursday. Oh, damn it. Ah! All right. Is there meat anywhere? Like, maybe that meat? Looks like Elaine and Morgan have made a dog's breakfast of your buffet. What? That mess? Oh, pshaw, my boy. That's just the typical mm. aftermath of our weekly ladies' night buffet table. <laughs> our lady pirates may be easy on the eyes, but heaven help you if you get between them and our bottomless salad bowl. Yikes. Uh, I don't know if I want to talk to you anymore, lady. How much? What was that about? Wait, what? 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 Um, pepper. Pepper? Where would I even get pepper from? Hey, you again? Hello, Treepwood. About this feast for the senses, what would you like to know? I need help with the, uh, yeah. The antipasta? In bar. Explain. Okay, I'll go back and have a look. Set, a powerful aroma must encourage the appetite to grow. I think my nose has been in shock since traversing the inside of a manatee. I'm sure you will find something. That's really not that helpful. All right, enough about the feast for now. Try not to get executed before I cure Elaine. As you wish. As I wish. All right. Let's go back in. Oh, that not... lamp is leaking oil. Not just any oil. Manatee oil. Oh, no. That's not right. I don't appreciate it. Is there any way I can collect that? Don't think so. I don't have cups anymore. Pepper. Pepper. Don't see pepper anywhere. Ooh, doing a little spin spin. Hey, WP. I'd like to order a drink. Barkeep, I'd like to order a drink. Brilliant! Will you be paying with doubloons, triploons, coupons, or flat Amy and fur shafts? Actually, I'm a little light right now. Oh, no problem. I'll start up a tab. You will? That's so unlike... To the right. Well, every place I have, I've ever been in my life. I've done this. Well, it's not like you're going to skip town on me, am I right? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I'm planning to. How about some more of those volcano shots? Sorry, uh, one per customer. Damn it. All right. To the right. Pepper. Ah, Pepper! I would I would not have seen Ugu that. Ugu Seems oh. pretty harmless. Oh, I see. Are you pirate enough to take the Fugu Jolokia challenge? Right, 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 right. Okay. Hey, WP. That's an actual pepper. I was thinking Pepper Grinder. 
Right. Tell me about this Fugu Jolokia challenge. Ah, a connoisseur of peculiar culinary delights, are we? Sure. Um, yes. But this wouldn't this be taste? You surely have heard I'll have to of the smell Fugu right now. Jolokia, the hottest pepper in right, this I'll still world see if I can get it. Oh, that Fugu Jolokia. I acquired that specimen of the Fugu pepper many years ago from a three-legged bandit named Ort, winning it from him when I was able you to win everything me in your life. On Damn. The pepper for ten entire seconds. How eccentric! Since that tongue destroying day, I vowed to pass on the pepper to the first pirate who can successfully put his tongue on the Fugu Jolokia for eleven seconds. Hmm. Guess I'm trying it. Okay, Pepper, prepare to meet your master. <laughs> hey, mental note. The Fugu Jolokia is hot to the touch, too. Okay, I'll need gloves or some, something. I don't, I don't know. Or use the hook. Hook makes more sense. Right. Gooey wax. Can I, like, wax my tongue? I don't want to dig my hook into that. Damn it. I don't know where it's been. That's what they did in The Simpsons. Although there's that thing to make my tongue numb. Let, let's give that a go, I suppose. Ouch! Again with the, the shock. Is that one of the things? Oh, I didn't want to actually do that. My bad. Manage your pie out of a taste that hits you like a mallet. So yeah, that, that'll be the taste one. Find the sixth sense to use your map. So shocking to my heart. Okay. So that, that's cool. Okay. Things have started to fall into place. I'm understanding a bit more. It's just I... Don't know still how to get the smell. The one thing I'm unsure about. Oh, whoops, see daisies. Which one? It was the first button, wasn't it? What the? Oh, she's gone. What happened to Morgan's body? And if someone buried her? Ow. This was the tongue one, wasn't what it? The, my tongue! Yep. Alright. Time to go try and pepper. Like I said, it's a bit too early for this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I assume I just use the hook to pick it up. I, I suddenly had the thought that it might not be the case. Ooh, wrong way, come on. God, did that blah Fugu Jolokia. Damn it. Seems pretty harmless. Oh, I need it lifting back up. Hey WP. I'd like to take the Fugu Jolokia challenge. I thought you looked like a man of gastronomic adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a challenger! Whoopee! Whenever you're ready, lad. Well, can I just leave and come right back? Ouch! I'll be back. I'm just going to make this bloody trip again. At least I know I can run. Didn't know that originally. Right, back to here, back to zapping. That. 
flowers. What is it? My thumb. Get going. All this running. Pretty sure this is right. This seems right to me. I I still don't know what to do about smell. Alright, is the thing down again? I can't actually tell? No, it's not. It's up. Cool. Look! <laughs> we did it. Well done, Captain Threefoot. You've conquered the Fugu Jalokia and have won the right to keep it as your own. Nice. I like a clean living in a healthy co. Oh! <laughs> Damn. I probably got permanent glossal damage, but it was totally worth it to get my hook on that pepper. I right, just don't be putting the hook anywhere near your eye, Guybrush. Bobby, do you have me hey, on yet? What do you want? Uh, we're not Bye. flirting with her. Arr. Oh, of course, yeah, she's the person who was like, Me nachos! Oh, sorry, I just suddenly. <laughs> I met her voice suddenly clicked in my head. Of course she is. Hey, Le Chuck, how you doing, buddy? Chuck! Hey, Brush! I would have bet my good hand I'd never say this, but thank you. For what? I've caused you nothing but despair. For taking the fall back there, and for exposing the voodoo lady. I don't know what to make of any of it, but now I can focus on saving Elaine and dealing with the pox. It is the very least I could do. But be careful, Guybrush. I'm always careful. This from the guy who proposed to his wife with a cursed engagement ring you stole from my hole. Yeah. Is that a dig? Is the evil demon pirate LeChuck developing a sense of humor? This is weird. Um. Yeah, about the diary. I can't believe the voodoo lady has been pulling your ghostly slash demonic strings all these years. It came as a shock to me as well. But her diary spells it all out. You, me, Elaine, we're all part of the voodoo lady's malevolent plans. Malevolence to do what? is in the eye of the beholder. Guybrush Treepwood. I know this is difficult to understand, but things are not as they seem. No, things seem remarkably convoluted, which is what I've come to expect from you. I've always had your best interests at heart. Well, what about my interests? Without your meddling, I could have lived a normal That's happy true. pirate's yeah, life. Yeah, what about him? Ha! The destiny of LeChuck has never been normal. Um... Yeah. So, Miss Spooky Pants gave me this menu which will supposedly put more grande in my esponja. Excellent! You wanna put some of your newfound deductive reasoning to the test and help me figure out what I need for the menu? I'd give my beard to be able to help you, but I'm afraid my pirate mind is not fit for such That's things. It. it explains why after all these years you still allowed me to get within a nautical mile of you with a bottle of blue <laughs> root beer. Alright, um... Sit tight, buddy. Once I save a lane, you're next. Don't worry about me. Hmm. Can I go in? Who go? Oh, it's you. Can I go back in? I think I left several useful items in there. Court is adjourned until the new defendants prepare their cases. Oh, damn it. Okay. Um. Ah, oh, I just need to figure out the meat situation. And meat anyway. What about the cat's food? Can I have some of the cat's food? Hi there, double peg. How's Miss Trashy Whiskers doing? Trashy Whiskers! 
This is not smucker smucker. <laughs> Her name is Miss Pretty Whisker. And really doesn't like your name. Name in the wrong name. Yeah, about the jungle beast. I forgot the tale of the jungle beast. None have seen the jungle beast. Yeah, I know. But it's the scariest, foul smellingest. Uh, yeah, yeah, skip to the end. The meat disappears from the altar without a trace. Good story. Where'd you get the meat from? Where'd you get the meat from? I need to know. I think that grease bottle's gonna be useful to something at some point. Ah, I need meat. I'll see if there's anything else. Uh, there's nowhere else I can go to other than the entrance, the device, and the shack. Despite repeated efforts to lace bait with tracking elements, beast board is in the on the jungle floor. Uh, if only the beast left a path as bright as lots of jungle floor. Ah. My assumption is I need to leave meat here and then I follow the fireflies. Right? Well, that's the altar. That's the sacrificial altar of the jungle beast Give that me a second. was rambling about. Sorry about that. Nephi just wanted their headphones. All right. This back here doesn't look like there's any meat here. Well, hmm. Where would there be meat, and why would there be meat? I would have fought the pub, but that's been a no-go. Uh. Unless this is something really stupid, like the leg. It thinks it's a bit of meat, but it's not. I tried the leg earlier and it didn't work. Do I still even have the leg? I do. Right, let's give it a go. Leg. That doesn't need to be illuminated. Well, no, but... Something that tasty should be fed to something or someone that really appreciates it. I don't want to dig my hook into that. I don't know where it's been. Alright. These... How do I get to the red one? Right, where am I now? I'm here. So I'm just curious by the question mark. Or I can just no, because I reckon. Okay, here's my theory. When I last had the map out while I was in the jungle, it rumbled. I reckon. The map literally changes depending on where I am. So, my theory is I want to get here to figure out what this red, is, what this question mark is. At least that's my theory right now. The best way to do that is to get to the red. Thing, which means I need to get to purple. God, this is going to take me a while. No, not purple. Yeah, purple. Okay. Yeah, see? It rumbles. So I think the map actually genuinely changes. So let's go down here. Was it up here? 
Then right, then right again, then down. I think this is right. I could be mistaken. Right again, because there's purple, and then go down. It should take me to... That was not where I thought it would take me to. Okay, I'm at green. Well, if I go up, that works. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that does work. That, that is where it would take me. I can't even misread it. My bad. Oh, the cheese has gone from that one. Right, there's red. Now, if I play around with this again... Uh, do, 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 like that. I should now just be able to leave and it'll take me straight to wherever that is. Ah, a chest. It's the mysterious chest of foreshadowing from the Voodoo Lady's shack. Who knows what sort of useful voodoo bric-a-brac lurk in its locked timbers. Even more importantly, how am I going to unlock it to find out? With the hook. Hook always seems to work. Let's see. What do I have now that I didn't <laughs> have the last time I tried to open this chest? Ow! Stupid hook. Oh, it can't be that easy. It literally has been so far. Every time there's a lock, you just pick it with a hook. The Voodoo Lady's tarot cards? That's it? I bent the fabric of reality for a stupid fortune teller's trick? Okay, that's a pretty good trick. Yeah, yeah it is. Looks like there's a few cards missing, but I'm sure there's enough precognitive mojo in these babies to count as a sixth sense course. Okay, so I've got six cents. Hmm. Well, that still doesn't help me out with the meat situation. Where have I not been where there could potentially be meat? Let's unfold the map as a whole. I've been there. Been there. Been there. Been there, been there, been there, been there. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. I'm stuck on the second course. Get back here, see if I've missed anything. Wait the like half hour it takes a guy rush to walk there, Jesus. seem to be anything in particular Looks around like here. someone's been messing with the Vakalian wind control device. And by someone, I mean the Marquis de Singe. And by the Marquis de Singe, I mean the incredible pain in my fundament. That takes me back here. Gotta be in town, right? He's generally the only thing I'm missing. kind of food for the thing. Just aggravating because I'm literally getting everything else. Anything down here at all? No. I can't pick up hot manatee oil with my bare hands. Well, what is the point of that manatee oil? something I'm missing. Hey, WP. I've been wondering, why is this place called Club 41 anyway? Let's just ask everything you know, of everyone. I don't rightly know. <coughs> the last owner never got a chance to tell me before he succumbed to his dart-related injuries. <laughs> okay. Oh, God, I was innocent. I told you I was innocent. Well, bully for you! Uh, meanwhile, we're still all poxed, there's a creepy voodoo priestess in my jail, and your wife's still threatening to sack our town. Truly, these are the best of times. The worst of times? Barkeep, I'd like to order a drink. What'll it be? What about... Grogatini? Set me up with a Grogatini. With a twist. 
Oh, I'm so sorry. We don't serve Grogatinis anymore. Uh, the pirates kept gagging on the little porcelain swords. Damn it. What about Grog? One Grog. Neat. Coming right up. Yeah, she's selling Grog. <laughs> ah, bracing. Hmm. I was hoping maybe he'd give me the cut or something. Pineapple? No, can't take the pineapple. Is this the only place I can think of that would give meat of any kind? Hey, Krebs. What do you want? You're not upset about the trial, are you? Why would I possibly be upset by the fact that I hideously disfigured myself in a quest for long-delayed vengeance, only to have it cruelly snatched away at the last moment? I mean, that's your fault. About your quest for vengeance? I'm afraid I still don't remember you. You don't remember? No. How could you forget how you sank me Marlin hunting ship off the coast of Snark Island? Or the Never time you framed Island. me for mulpery on Wurtling Shars? Unless I've taken too many blows to the head, I'm pretty sure I've never been to any of those places or done any of those things. Well, you may not remember Boss and Catherine C. Krebs, but you can be sure that there'll always be a black mark next to the name of Guybrush Q. Threepwood. W wait, did you say Guybrush Q. <laughs> never Threepwood? Aye, and a fowler name never escaped me lips. But it's the wrong name. I'm Guybrush U. Threepwood. What? <laughs> yeah, your vendetta must be with the other Guybrush Threepwood. I should have realized, you know, this isn't the first time something like this has happened. I keep getting his mail, too. It's... Ah! Sorry. You're not still upset about the whole hideously scarring your leg in a bid to seek unholy vengeance against the wrong target thing, are you? Ah! Yep, not at all. I mean, this is going to get you a slap, but hey, let's Chris, see what happens. Now that your case has been dismissed, care to join me in a little post-trial amicus curiae? Was that a pickup line? I don't oh, know. No. My Latin's <laughs> a little rusty. Bye. Alright. She's no help. If Hemlock's telling the truth about this critter, it's got a stench that could peel the barnacles off my rudder. Right. I am... I'm quite stuck on this now for a little bit. Ouch! Maybe someone did the seagull? Filthy flying fecal flingers. I don't know. Take your hook to I don't it. I think they'd appreciate being impaled on my hook. No? Oh. I just don't get why the seagull's there. I have to look this up, folks. I am, I've been wandering around for so long now. All right, I'm going to quickly look it up. Give me a second. On it. Uh... Boo. Oh, I'm stuck. Unless you've got an idea. I've been everywhere on this island. I just don't know... Where I'm supposed to get meat of any kind. Normally you help me out, but you haven't been very helpful at the moment. Things to do with beast. Yeah, I need bait. Let's have a look. Summons the beast. Alright. Oh. <laughs> Funny enough, I'm actually in the right place. I. You know how I kept saying. Oh. It's locked. Yeah, it's locked. What do we do with locks? We pick them with the hook. 
Oh, no. This is where the Marquis keeps all the severed limbs of the pirates he's operated on. Hmm. Hey, Got the meat. You never know when a sack of severed legs is going to come in handy. Or footy, as the case may be. Sorry. All right. There we go. Got it. I, for the rest of the senses, I'm pretty sure I've got everything I need to get. Or at least I'm on the right track for it all. It's just I really struggled with that one. Alright, let's get back to the well. Which should be this way. Oh, to be fair, the map's changed a little bit. Oh, there we go. The fireflies are attracted to the sugar water on the leg. Fascinating. And just a little nauseating. Now I assume I go to the altar. Place leg on said altar. And follow the fireflies to see which way it works. I don't know about mythical jungle beasts, but I always prefer my ritual sacrifices to be slathered in sugar water. If I go back, just follow the fireflies. Hell yeah. <laughs> At last, <laughs> I've lost that she devil. Hey, monkey. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. Serves him right, though. Still, I'd better finish feeding the sponge before Elaine hurts someone I actually care about. Let's let him beat up Maki a bit more. No one will feel bad. That's not right. It just goes straight. I'm confused. I'm confused about the direction. It goes this way, and then. Oh, I see. The there's a path there. Tracks his prey via his distinctive firefly attracting spool. Oh, it's a That's plant. the legendary jungle beast of Flotsam Island? Hey there. Can I get my sponge on you? Well, that's a great idea, but I think I need to find the part of this plant beast that's stinking up the jungle. Um. Oh, look at that. The poor hideous flesh-eating plant is a smelly, rotting lion's paw caught in its teeth. Um, thorns. Hold still, little buddy. I'll get that nasty old hunk of meat out from Yikes! Okay, what if I trade a limb for all... What the... the four? It's empty! What? I literally used one! How could it be empty? Come on, plant. Fork over that paw. I'll never get my hands on that super stinky paw while that mouth is snapping at me. Okay. What to do then? Yeah, I have a fake leg. Here, boy! Ooh, that looks uncomfortable, but at least he's not snapping at me anymore. Thank you very Don't much. Don't worry, you freakish little abomination. Dr. Guybrush will make it all better. Gotcha! Phew! <laughs> that is by far the foulest thing I've ever smelled in all my years of pirating. And that's coming from a guy who's just spent a few days inside a giant manatee. Ah, oh, so the plant was just... Aggy because it had a lion's paw stuck in its mouth. Well, we took care of it for you. Come on, little sponge. Eat the nice, smelly anti pasta. That's a good sponge. Anti paw. Oh my god. That, that's so dumb. Whatever. Right. No. Third course. The taste. Well, I've got the taste. I better fold this up before I put it in my pocket. That's easy. Bam. Bam. It's a good thing the sponge doesn't have a tongue, or I'd be dunking it in the ocean right about now. And then I think it was six cents after that, so bam! Hopefully these flakes of the future will give La Esponja a sixth sense that'll help keep me from getting into situations like this. 
Alright, what's next? I don't actually know. Oh, yep, I need to go get myself that. I and better fold this up before I put it in my pocket. Belch. I don't know what I'm going to do about the belch. But that's all for now. Get back to the bar. That should be all good. Here we go. I guess just walk around a little bit and I get zapped. Do I need to use it on the exit? La uh, Sponja Grande is only good for soaking up voodoo. Like the pox. Yeah, but that. Ouch. I wonder if La Esponja Grande can sense the future now. And how would it tell anyone if it did? Hmm. La Sponja Grande is only good for soaking up voodoo. Like the pox. Okay, so how does this work then? I don't know where, where I was going with that. Ooh. Ah. La Sponja Grande is only good for soaking up voodoo. Like the pox. Yeah, but it get, it'll get zapped, right? Maybe on the hook? Nope. Hmm. Okay, for the time being, let's put that to one side. What's the last one? For the belch. Okay. Ouch! Why doesn't that work? What? That should work, surely, right? Um... Damn, I just... Uh... Oh, maybe I've done it? I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know, like... Has, has that counted as the zap? I don't know, maybe I should just try and move on to the belch. Let's move on. See what happens. I'm pretty sure the belch will be the uh, the wind thing, alright? It'll be this. The only thing I can think of. Never got it on first go. I just don't know what else I can do. Like, I've walked through it being zapped. Um, not yet? Yeah, I think I'll try again later. So I'm not there yet. So how does that work? What is not letting my sponge get zapped? Hmm. Maybe I need to walk around a lot. Oh, wait, what if I... La Sponja Grande is only good for soaking no. up voodoo. Like the pox. Hmm. Guess they decided to put the rug inside after it was clean. Maybe if I just... Whoa. Ah, okay, I get it. I just need to walk on it a little bit more. Whoa. Whoa. Tingly. Well, hey, what's this? 
Hell yeah. Uh, so that was the shocking dessert. Right. Now we put it on the thing. Ouch. All right, Senor Esponja Not So Grande. That's five senses down and one to go. Now, where can I find a really big sound for an after dinner belch? There you go. There's only one thing on Flotsam Island that can make a noise like that. Oh, thank God you're just going to take me there. Got my hand on his head. Oh, it's an obvious trap. A man, you snuff sniffing land licker! You heard the lady to singe. Guybrush, get out of here and find your own treasure. This one's mine. Ah, the happy Threepwood Pirate Clan. <laughs> Whatever shall I do now? Oh, I know. Oh, really? Clam dip. Ha! I can't believe I ever married a dull You're like trapped you. first. You know, once I cure you of the pox that's making you say all these mean things, you're going to owe me a lot of smoochies. Yeah. I wouldn't smooch you with his lips, cabin boy. <clears throat> I hate to break up this portrait of domestic bliss, <laughs> but I've got some last-minute adjustments to make to my machinery before preparing the charming Madame Threepwood for her journey into scientific history. Don't worry, Buttercup. Once I get lost, still scientific. Into that noisy doohickey, our troubles will be over. Does he not believe mm, all yes. the, si well, the beauty stuff? Down, so. no. At least I hope so. All right, well, throw the. <laughs> Can't believe that stupid parrot somehow found its way back into my life. <laughs> it's me, Garbage Three Foot, Mighty Pirate. Oh. Uh, oh, I can't stay mad at you. The parrot, it still lives. What's this? An airborne peripheral? Hey, give that back! <laughs> and risk tainting my moment of triumph with your tedious voodoo falderal? <laughs> I don't think so. God damn it. Moment of triumph? <laughs> we, using my arpsychroniton, I have discovered the unique harmonic frequency that allows me to pulverize matter into a fine powder and spread it across the seas. <laughs> Observe! No, not the parrot! Ah, it's me, Garbo Streetwood, mighty pirate. Oh. First of all, thanks. That thing was really starting to scrape my scab. Second, you're crazy if you think you're going to get me in there. Okay, crazier. He doesn't care about you, you anymore. <laughs> I don't want you. <laughs> it's your wife's molecules I need to smear across the seas. I'd like to see you try, you wuss. Why her? Because of her box, you don't. She's got the same unique strain of the pox that you once had. The same one that was flowing through your amazing hand. The same one that I've distilled into my amazing Zoo Lefty! Unfortunately, a single hand can only provide enough of this Reapwood strain to produce a few meager drums of my Zoo Even if I were to drain your beloved to the bone, I would only gain a few piddling firkins of the juice. I'll give you some piddling firkins! Well, your plan is to spread it. No. If I want a perpetual strain yeah. of the Judy V, every pirate in the world must be exposed to the Sweepwood strain. Now, Madame Sweepwood, if you'll hold still for a moment, I'll try to make this as painless as possible. How nice. But I won't. Oh, oh. oh damn. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, he's immortal. Right, yeah. He has the power of the Judy V. Okay, um, how can I help? Leg! That doesn't need to be illuminated. Just whack him around the head with a leg. Hey, to cringe! What? Taste the adventure! Hey! <sighs> okay. That didn't help, but, um... Hmm. Oh, what the heck? Just took the entire sack. Sweet. Oh, shine. And then they should attract the moss, right? There's moss up there. 
That doesn't need to be illuminated. All right, let's try that again. Maybe that'll work. Hey, boo. What? No. Hey. Look on his head. They will then be attracted to them. Uh, what in the world? Oh, shoot! Maybe the moss. Yeah, I need to figure out a way to close the eyes. The singe is gonna use that contraption to pulverize my sweet patootie. Hey, the monkey. What? Um. You look like you've got your hands, um, hand full. Why don't you let me How do I... that sponge for a minute? Mm. What sort of idiot do you take me for, Scrapewood? Is that a trick question? You'll never get past my wife's sword, you know. I once saw her hold off a horde of angry Rotarians with nothing more than a pen knife and a feather duster. Yeah, impressive. But unless they were invulnerable Rotarians fueled by my incredible jus de vie, there's really no comparison. Soon she will tire, and her box will be mine to spread across the four corners of the earth. I'll spread you to the four corners. Right. Oh, there we are. I did that on accident, but it works. Uh, what now? Eat the turban. No! 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 Oh, get away from me, you nasty little pest! Eat their turban. Why is he even wearing a turban? No. What's the matter with him? Without my hand to supply him with more jus de vie, all those wounds you've been inflicting are starting to catch up with him. Ugh. Ugh. Get back here, you naughty little lad. <laughs> I have you now, my pretty. <laughs> oh. Nice one, Hand. Care to help me with these locks? I guess that was a little too much to ask. At least I've got the sponge back, though. Uh, I love the Hand. It's just like... Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Thing from Adam's Family. At least it helped there. Oh, Guybrush. Thank you. That was a little antic for Max. Whoa! Now that's an Esponja Grande. But how will I use it to cure? It does it by itself. Don't worry about it, Gabrush. Oh, right, the wind. <laughs> Got real bright. Hold on. <sighs> Guybrush? Elaine, are you all right? I, I think so. But how did I get here, and why does my mouth taste like coleslaw? It's a long story. I'll tell you all about it once we figure out how to get out of these stupid clamshells. Leave everything to me, my friends. Hey, this Chuck, how do you get out? The Chuck, my new best pal. How'd you get out of jail? Oh, the guard was more than happy to release me once I convinced him that it was the only way to win Elaine's hand in unholy matrimony. Um, wait, unholy what? Unholy, unholy this. Guybrush! Elaine? The truck! <laughs> this name shouting is jolly good fun! Is that you, Mother? I washed my hands. I knew it all along. With or without all that voodoo, you're still nothing but an evil sack of scum. Correction, my sweet. I'm an evil sack of scum who's about to plunder the grandest treasure in all creation. But I'd be willing to share my booty if you catch me drift. Oh, come now, my love. You can't deny uh, what we've shared these past few weeks. The chummy camaraderie, the kind words, the stolen glances. I know you've developed feelings for me. Join me as my demon bride, and together we'll lay a bloody siege to the very heart of voodoo itself. 
Go to hell, the Chuck. What's this? Well, the... you can't that say I didn't try. Looks like it. Looks like we'll be doing this with all that voodoo. Kick his two-faced butt for me. From melee to monkey and all the islands in between, my love. <laughs> Aren't you dead yet? I've got wedding plans to make. <sighs> out of respect for the newly deceased, I feel I should point out that you wave your sword like a dairy farmer. Appropriate. How appropriate. You fight like a pox-infected undead cow. Yes! Ah! That's it, though. <laughs> so, on Thursday, I'll finish this up. I'll play the last chapter. And then we'll finally be caught up, so that next week, we can start on return. That's the plan, anyway. I'll stick around because you they've had um you know post credit scenes in the last couple ones. Uh, that one wasn't too bad, got a little bit stuck. Just had to remember that literally every locked door, everything that was locked could be opened. With the hook. Monkeyology. Oh man. Yeah, that was uh, chapter four. So tomorrow I'll be going back to. Mortuary Assistant. Good old horror. Haven't played it in a while. I've probably forgotten everything I need to do, but uh, we'll, we'll try it. We'll try it and hopefully not get too scared. But then, like I said, Thursday we'll be back to this. We'll finish this off, hopefully, Tails. And then on Monday, I'll be continuing with Skyrim, because I haven't played that in a long, long time. And then I, I'm still unsure what I'm going to do Tuesdays. As you may have noticed, I'm not playing PS2 games today. Just after Simpsons didn't run, my save data got corrupted. I just, I really can't be bothered. Go back to it. Catch up to where I was. So either I need to, sorry, I keep looking down there because that's where my PS2 games are right now. I either could start a different game. Pick that one up instead. I don't know. I think I might, I might pick it up. You know, I might look at my games and see if there's anything in particular I want to play. Pretty sure that'll be all right. Little, little wolf. Oh god, we're only at the uh, cast. Yeah, what happened to the journalist? Did did they say he burnt up? Kind of sound like what they they mentioned, what Dora told me. Let's just skip it. Human Lechuk. They are different. I did think the voices sounded different between Human Lechuk and GP Lechuk. So look, Kevin Blackton. Oh, his name. He's not there. Damn it. Annual localization. Man. I don't really have much to say, to be honest. It's literally just 
They're here waiting for a possible end credit scene. Don't know if there will be one. Me! Oh, LucasArts. I, th I almost kind of wish Disney would revive LucasArts. I don't know, I just... A lot of LucasArts games are really good. From, like, the Monkey Island games to... Grim Fandango to all the Star Wars games that were made under them. I mean, here's hoping the new Star Wars games will be good. It's, they look good. I'm quite looking forward to Eclipse. Two. Right. Please tell me there's a reason for me to have sat all this time. This new involved in the new Mortal Kombat. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Because, yeah, LucasArts was sold off to Disney. There wasn't any credits. I have been scammed. Oh, well. <laughs> it's always good to see the credits anyway. Yeah. Yeah, LucasArts obviously got bought up when the rest of Lucasfilms did. But anyway, thank you everyone so much for joining. I always appreciate all the viewers. Yeah, join me tomorrow. See you then. Be good people. I don't know why I said be good people. I'm watching too much dead meat. Don't worry about it. <laughs> See ya.